Good morning, everyone. So we had a uh, an incident from a client happen a couple of days ago, and I thought I recorded it, but apparently I didn't. So here it is. Um, liquid damage on a laptop. Yes, um, I strongly recommend that you don't do any open container drinking around your laptop period at all. Um, if you do have to have a drink near your laptop, make sure it's got a cap on it, like a water bottle or a lid or something so you can minimize spill. If you take liquid damage to your laptop, whether it be accidental or your kids want revenge, uh, <laughs> first thing you need to do is, of course, turn it off and unplug it as fast as you possibly can. Um, and then move it somewhere where it will not be bothered for like 24 hours. Depending upon the type of liquid, usually water will liquid, uh, you know, evaporate kind of quickly. Um, if it's coffee, chocolate milk, anything that's got a sugar in it, um, usually once sugar dries, it becomes conductive. Um, so yeah, uh, if you've spilled something on your laptop, let it set for about a day. Um, that way it kind of like dries up and then call us and bring it to us or we can come pick it up. It doesn't matter. Um, but we're going to need to tear it apart to see if there was any damage that was immediately done to the main board. Um, we had a gentleman who brought in a laptop, spilled some milk on it. Um, fortunately, it did not completely ruin it. Um, he was able to turn it off and, and set it off to the side for a day. Uh, we got to looking at it. There was two small little blown components on the motherboard that were related to his headphone jack on the front. And since it was a separate board, it didn't cause any damage to his computer. So he got lucky in that way. Although, you know, he did lose the, the microphone and headphone jack on the front of his laptop. Um, that is far better than losing the entire thing. So, um, yeah, uh, if you're going to drink around your laptop, please make sure there's a lid on it uh, or a cover or a cap or something. If you have cats, you know, cats are buttholes. Uh, most lovable creatures in the world. But, yeah, same thing they will intentionally spill your coffee on your laptop. <clears throat> I think they plan it. So, um, yeah, um, keep your drinks in containers if you're going to use them around your laptops. The worst thing, like I said, is anything with sugar in it, pop seems to, you know, if you're drinking a soda or a pop and you spill it on your computer, you, most of the time the computer is immediately shot. Uh, but definitely bring it in, we'll take a look. If it's just a small component, like in the case of this gentleman who brought it in, and the only thing he lost was his headphone jacks, and it was a separate device, so we are able to replace that. Um, and, you know, it's just a matter of waiting for the part to get here to fix it. But, yeah, usually you lose the motherboard or you lose the keyboard. Keyboards, old-style keyboards where they just pop in and out are usually like $20, $25. Um, the newer ones where like the new built-in batteries, the, the whole top plate has to be replaced and those can run about $125. So, and there's not anything we could do about that. So yeah, liquid damage, um, turn it off, hold that power button in until it turns off, rip that power cord out, let it set. If you have an external battery, gently, if you possibly can, slide it to the edge pop your battery out if you can but most most of the modern laptops now have internal batteries which yeah I'm not a fan of I get why they're doing that but not a fan of um, yeah just the, the best thing you can do is just turn it off put it somewhere let it set for a day um, don't do something stupid like put it in your oven to dry it out faster no I, I've seen that happen about eight years ago someone spilled some water on their laptop and uh, they disconnected it and then put it in their oven at a... They turned the oven on low. I mean, it wasn't that hot. It was like 130 degrees, but still, uh, laptops are not designed for that type of abuse. So, no, it just made it even worse. So, yeah, if you get liquid damage, immediately turn it off. Immediately unplug it. As level as you can, move it to a safe location where it can sit uh, for a day, sometimes two. Um, and then depending on, you know, if it's just water, even then I would tell you bring it in just to be safe because we're going to have to tear it apart and look. Um, and even then, even with our eyes, <laughs> even with cameras on phones, um, 
we might not be able to see the damage because the damage might be on the trace lines um, and those are, I don't want to say they're microscopic, but you need very strong magnifications to see those types of damages and we won't know until we tear it apart, clean it, put it back together and check it <clears throat> on if to see if there is any other damage. So yeah, liquid damage. Just turn it off. Turn it off, set it off to the side, don't touch it, call us the next day um, and we'll take a look at it. Um, if it's fixable, obviously that's great. If it's not fixable, hopefully the hard drive was not damaged in the process and we could do your data recovery. So anyways, if you found this useful, please like, share, and subscribe, you know, up here. Uh, wherever you're seeing this at, if it's on YouTube, you can share it that way. Uh, there's a share button down at the bottom. Uh, if you're on Facebook, you know, there's a share button there. Pass it along to family and friends. Subscribe to the channel if you can. There's our Facebook page if you want to find us. Uh, computer problems, liquid damage, give us a call or send us a text now uh, to the number here. Um, we can come to you and if you're in our service area, you can come to us. Just call us or text us and let us know about what time you're coming so we can make sure someone is here. You guys have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.